Frederick, Johnny, what a fairy tale run. If I told you two weeks ago you were going to be Wimbledon doubles champions, <coughs> what would you have said? I would have laughed at you a yeah. little bit, yeah. And, uh, no, we said you're crazy. I mean, yeah, we. I, I think we, we thought we thought we could do okay, you know, coming here and uh, off the back of a decent uh, result and a challenger tournament, we thought we could maybe win a few rounds or ever. But as the, as the week went on, we, we won some close matches and uh, gained a lot of confidence and kind of obviously pushed it through for the whole two weeks. Yeah. How much yeah, did you it's, yeah, it's definitely something else. I think uh, it's safe to say that it's maybe one of the bigger surprises in the history of our sport. So, I mean. If you're a betting man and you put money on that, uh, good on you. How much did you enjoy playing in that atmosphere on centre court? <clears throat> it's phenomenal, the best I've ever tried. Uh, ever since I was a kid, uh, the only thing I wanted to do with tennis was to play on Wimbledon centre court. And then to play with uh, that kind of atmosphere, too good. How did you stay composed after losing the fourth set tiebreak? I mean, we, we've had four or five setters this week anyway so we kind of used to uh, that's know, the way we play yeah exactly which is what you said actually at the end of the fourth set uh, yeah I mean it's still all to play for obviously two sets all and, and, and we thought we were both playing well and, and we just missed out on winning that fourth set tie break so we just kind of, kind of kept the morale up a little bit and uh, and then got off to a good start obviously breaking quite early in the fifth uh, and then yeah just staying strong in our serve and, and, and yeah, after, uh, through, exactly. after the fourth set, we regrouped and <clears throat> we talked about how, I mean, if you lose in a tiebreak 7-5, it's going to be close. And we had 5-2, we had 5-4 serves. So we just kind of said to each other, you know, what, we're, we're, we're still holding serve. We're quite comfortably, we weren't saving break points. And when you get to a break, it's basically flip off a coin. So there's no, no need to panic. Just keep going and see where it takes us. How heavy did your arm feel serving in that last game? Yeah, pretty heavy, actually. But, uh, <laughs> No, I mean, it's what I've always kind of dreamed, dreamed about doing, you know, serving for the Wimbledon title or whatever, so I'd kind of gone through it in my head before a few times, so it was, uh, obviously there's going to be some nerves there, but i had been serving well all, all tournament really, and, and, and today as well, uh, so I felt pretty confident and, 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 you know, putting some good serves in and, and hopefully closing it out, with the help of Freddie and a few nice little volleys there. A little bit of a shank as well. <laughs> <laughs> You're 28, 31, playing in your first tour level final. Could you ever have envisaged winning Wimbledon? It's easy to envisage. Uh, I mean, it's it's probably the biggest dream of all. So you you imagine it all your life, and uh, but 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 then, like we said, you imagine and never think that it's gonna happen. Obviously, it'd be our careers. In the bigger picture, the people you normally see in tour finals and stuff like that, in comparison to their careers, our careers have been p pretty mediocre. So uh, it's it's definitely uh, yeah, a bit outrageous. Good word. <laughs> it was a historic win for both of you. Does that make it extra special? I don't think it could be any more special than winning winning the Wimbledon titles. So uh, I mean, obviously, the, we, we've been throwing a lot of stats this week about. Uh, well, me personally, about my the last time a British person won it, and and for Freddie, his, his granddad was obviously in the final a couple of times, so we were well aware of uh, the history. But uh, yeah, I mean, playing Wimbledon kind of speaks for itself. You don't need any stats to back it up. Mm -hmm. Maybe in a few times when the euphoria goes down, then it'd be it'll become extra spice. And when we become old men that are living in the past, we say hey, we were the first. <laughs> How are you going to celebrate? Uh, probably not going to say on camera. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. Uh, well, I've got a lot of family and friends down, so I'm sure we'll uh, pop out for a drink. Yeah, we or can two say tonight. that. Yeah, I have a lot of friends yeah, and family, so we'll yeah. pop out for a drink and a, and a, and a good dinner. Yeah.